Iga's fiance versus Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the Lady Cincinnati Open for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Goff entered the tournament as the number seven seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Sharif. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifying as Kova, who had just taken out Kvitova, the ninth seed, in the previous round. There's no problem for Goff winning in straights. 6-4, 6 love to advance to the quarters. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the qualifier Paulini, who had just had a walkover against Rabakina in the previous round. There's no problem for Goff off, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2 to get to the semi-finals. Shviontek started the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Danielle Collins, a player she'd played a three-setter against last week in Canada. But this time it was totally different, with Shviontek winning easily 6-1, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on Zhang, who had just knocked out Venus Williams in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Shviontek would have to fight back to win 3-6, 6-1, 6-1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Shviontek would take on the number 10 seed Von Drusova, who had just won Wimbledon a month before. And after a a very close first set, with Von Drusova having chances to win it. Fiance took it out in straight sets, 7-6-6-1 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played seven times before, with Fiance winning all seven matches and not even having lost a set, especially in their last couple of matches, of course, playing at the French Open and also in Dubai back in February, with Fiance getting the same scoreline, 4-2. and two. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and she needs to serve well. Her forehand's actually been pretty good the last couple of weeks and, of course, having Brad Gilbert on board seems to have turned Goff into a different player in the last couple of events, but the Real test starts now against Fiontech. Can she play the way she's been playing the last couple of weeks against Fiontech? And can she get the different result? If Fiontech's going to win this one, she does need to clean up her game a bit. She was a little sloppy against Von Drusova, but we all know that Von Drusova does play a tough game and does make players play worse than their abilities. So maybe being a little harsh, but I think Fiontech does need to clean it up because if she gives three points against Goff, especially this new version of Goff, it's going to be tough. We've seen this match so many times, and over the last couple of times, it's been a little boring and kind of predictable, but I feel like this time, I feel like it might be a little bit different but I still think Shviontek wins. But I'm going to go three sets in this one. I reckon Goff gets her first set, but it won't be enough to get the win against the world number one. And I think Shviontek makes the final. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.